eat that big robot over there. I killed him. Hello my good friends and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. When we left off, I had a very long, uh, somewhat successful boss fight against the Deathbringer, and now we are in, most, we are in search of more of the inf Really, cars outside, really? You gotta rev all the way down the street, don't you? You're so cool. I wish... Curious if you could heal, hear that, because they, like, responded hey, to me with more seat. revving. You can take a seat. You're going to sack her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, oh, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That's... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on. If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting fleet this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds up Thanks for that expositionary sentence, buddy. And her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base? What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth Sounds do? like... Seems like they just fed a bunch of people to the robots trying to kill the robots. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. Not the convenient, but doable. The agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue <clears> another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right, so is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes, there is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was All right, that works. Gone. Where am I going? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? That's far She'll away. Stop the machines, but not before the world she knew, her civilization, ended. Let's hope it won't come to that again. 
Oh, hold on. Okay, I thought I had two markers there for a second. Well, I'm literally going to the other side of the map. And my closest fast travel is... Not close. Alright. Aloy, you're very close now. I was wondering That's when you good. Up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close and you'll find handholds leading up. Oh really? Oh, and who put good. those there, hmm? Right. Why would I expect an answer? It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we gonna do that? Oh wait, I forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. There are the handholds, right where you'd said they'd be. Did you get that silence? Where? No? Oh, I see. Fitting name you got there. <clears throat> Alright, what now? You wait, that's what. Take a seat what? at the campfire and rest. What night falls, we'll talk. At least I'll have a fire to keep me company. I'm not too sure about that with the rain. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. We already knew that. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disc, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that, and the focus network will crash. So you were part of the Eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But it is the case that I assisted the Eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. More it was all sexual. <laughs> Let's see what's through here. Corrupted I can't machines. fucking see in front of me. Patrolling like guards. More like soldiers. Held in reserve for a war yet to come. You'll have to get past them. This is the easy way in? The back way in. I didn't say it'd be easy. Wow. Oh, the fucker hits hard. I mean... Ah, why do I always lose focus when I'm... Oh shit. Hold on, just die. Okay, we're good. We're not good. Too bad. What the hell? I forgot about what you can do. There's no good way to dodge that, huh? If you're gonna be like that about it, 
Alright, I can just go back to sneaking then. <laughs> Well, hold on. Can I just get up there somehow? That'd be easier if I, well, I mean, there's no quick way up there though, so. I guess that's a no, huh? Oh shit. Oh, hold on, catch on fire. Hold on. There you go. Something tells me that whole ordeal could have gone way quicker and way better. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to deal with those fellas. You yeah, know, I probably could have just ran away, huh? Actually, no. Hold on. What am I trying to do here? Okay. How do I get around to you? Gotta go along the wires. But I don't see a way up to the wires. Oh, here we go. Well, this would have made... Sorry. This would have made it a lot easier, huh? Could have made it a lot better on myself. Well, oh well. Surprised nobody heard that fighting going on. This is what we wanted. I didn't have to fight them at all. What a waste of time and resources. My bad. What's this even do? What is this? What am I doing? It's a different way in, I bet. Explosions in the distance. Pay that no mind. Many of them. Doesn't concern you. Uh are you sure? Now, head for that ridge. Wow. The tall neck's just sneaky, over Sneaky, sneaky. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going pretty quick. You getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmitter's the been hell? moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. <sighs> so much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them, or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. Been weeks since Helis was around. What's he been up to? Terrifying someone, I'm sure. Are you fucking serious? Come on, man. I was gonna sneak, kill him. Great. 
Great Aloy. Aloy, now if only you could do that way quiet faster. Not quieter. You do it quiet enough. It is an honor to guard that which helps us see. Sure is. You're a good boy. I just about got them all covered. What the shadow needs it helps the priests to see the unseen. Yeah, that's it. You've got it all figured out. Fight We're under attack. Them. I'm looking right at her. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. I missed. <laughs> you sure did miss. There we go. Is there fighting up ahead? No. It's a mining operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh good, another secret. The hell? Uh, oh. <sighs> that wasn't intentional. I'm sure you could surmise that from uh, the fact that it led to my death. Oh, here we go. Did it. That was surprisingly Enough quiet. This. I need to find that tall neck. Yes, you do. Now push on. It would not have been easy to drag a tall neck down this path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. Well, they made it very easy to climb. It feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. I see the module. Good. Now be quick. This. This is Hades? Aloy, this is not the time. Oh. It's. A metal devil. Open the module's casing, now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's a problem. Entity has come here. No? Entity. Miscalculated. Entity cannot destroy me. I am beyond its reach. Maybe you are, but this isn't. Destroy the entity. I don't like it. Oh, fuck. Probably best be heading to that bridge now, huh? Keep moving. Yep, okay. Wait, why can't I fight it? I've killed two of these already now, haven't I? This looks easy. Oh Jesus. Keep moving. You just said that. Yeah, you think? What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? Oh no, I miscalculated. Keep moving or you'll die. No shit. Owie. Alright, up here. Oh, this is this doesn't this is this is not good. That's not good. It's very bad in fact. Are you kidding me? Almost out of it. Come on. Rome, don't fight! I'm not fighting. 
Oh, oh shit. Head left towards the camp. Got it. Almost there. Whoops. The whole base is on high alert. Yeah, I noticed. Keep running. Dude, shut up. More clips across the ravine. Bridge in sight. That's the way out. I know. So that bridge is gonna get destroyed. Yeah. Oh, that got destroyed a lot earlier than I would have hoped. going but you survived you knew Hades was there and you sent me to him I won't deny I risked your life but it was the only way I probably would have done it even uh, if I knew you ass hat down, we can both get what we want access to the secrets of zero dawn I'm past trusting you with secrets good that means you're wising up trust is for fools it shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new signs of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... He better be in a physical location so I can do the murder on him. God, why? Are... If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall, it is. What is and this so glowing don't... red? That's a mine. Okay. <laughs> Sunfall. The Mad King Drawn Summer Palace. Yeah. The bulwark of Karja Might against the Howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this, Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. I thought Sunfall was a time he wanted to talk to me, not an actual place. Oh, all right. Oh, hello. i do a little... Hold on. Let's do a little talking to you real quick. Oh. <laughs> the sun ring. The proud tradition of Akarja. Stay off my focus. If the eclipse catches you here, you'll be lucky if you survive long enough to wind up in that ring. You know, I'm curious, what the hell, why are you so obsessed with unnecessary information now? After scolding me for it so much just a few hours ago. Uh huh. Not even. Oh, that's the way I came. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. Uh, what the hell? Success. Uh, okay. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. Circulate. Outlanders. If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Filthy mercenary bottom feeders. Uh -huh. I'll take the shards, even if it means having to listen to Bahavas. I hear the Shadow Cards are looking reason. for one of their own. What sort of person well. sells their loyalty? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> of the sun revealed. Your hat's funny. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. A little I kid. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak on my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Mm. Love your hair. <laughs> Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, Citadel, little Huntress. The green the tent king. down in Shadowside. But he refused I'll to be waiting. When kind of busy. And fled, and in doing so, demonstrated wanton disregard for the safety of the king's subjects. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see Go me then, while there's Avengers, still time to save him. The will of the sun. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First I'm time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun spot. ring from They're on high. Come home. But the Kestrels... Ha! Ah, they want us to see this, boy! This is insane. It makes quite an impression. Hardly. They're going to see me. You underestimate the ease of hiding in plain sight. The balustrade. It's a Seriously? short hop from there. If you're gonna watch some slaughter, this is the place to do it. Oh no. I like heights. Oh no. Don't worry me, boy. Uh oh, okay. Don't worry me. I went down there. How can you just to strike back against the usurper? Oh uh, shit! Uh, nope, everything's fine. Nothing's fine. Ah, they want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an impression. There we go. <laughs> nope, nope, down a alert. There you go. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. The hell am I doing? I say you've been here before. Oh, this isn't the other side. Obviously. This is the side I dropped down on. No. It's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tell it's not the end, is it? You silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure, as year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Possibly. Oh, I tend to scan. Okay. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 God damn it. Malfunction. Are you, me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! 
Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. I underestimated you. I think by now I... Uh, uh... Guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. <laughs> we? Last I checked, I was the one risking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Okay, we're only learning stuff. This isn't as okay. It's probably not the end. And again, it could be the end. He was all like, "Yo, finish your Zero shit up Dawn. now." Zero Dawn. This is this we could be it. it. This could be the. I don't fucking Are you know, man. Really so surprised. Facility diagnostic tech, please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. Please proceed no. into viewing room one for an important message. What? What was this place? A holographic theater. ZD01 data intact. Initiating playback. What? Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors. Can you get rid of my outfit? That Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague. If Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating. Waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you. And the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. What the hell, dude? That, that doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. We're getting a very, Just very it. slow stream of information here. Events. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this? No! Place? Two?
I'm out, and I'll make it quick. <laughs> oh, here we go. Get down! You're no use dead. The hell he's got fireworks. Let's put me in the sky. Yeah. Yeah. What else you got? I'll survive. Oh. Are you sure yeah. you'll survive? Harley yeah. 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 coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Let this bring me victory. Yeah. Close to the tribal privilege. Oh, the victory in a row. The data points in the world. This is like one of the only games that gets me so fucking focused on the game that I just say the wrong words all the time. I don't get it. But you gotta keep doing this to me, man. CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Alright. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news. And it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions- Hey there Hades, how you doing? You're a dick, I see you down there. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about. And build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Holy shit! That's ambitious as all hell! The whole earth destroyed. But then, 
Are you made? Yes. That's pretty fucking cool. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this. For life. For us. But... So maybe she is my mom. Why Hades then? Oh, it was an embryonic it egg or something. Intruder! Get her! How did oh, oh you right off the bat, huh? Oh, quit whining. There might be another route, but we don't need one. I've got this. Only a little blood. Felt that one. That hurt. Beast. No judgment. I'm gonna feel that. My heart is taking worse yet. Okay, you know what? He's actually not going so good. Guide this through the heart. Something broke. Bye. Here we go. Here we go. Another one of these. Oh. Need to find the right oh, what configuration. The hell? Um, what? There's a part missing. Maybe there's there a is. storage area nearby. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Up to storage. It is up. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. No, the marker's just sticking here with me, but what's that rope? I hashed it out with them. What the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere... Well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For there to have been all this and then... Nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot-blooded. So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. The counselor said I might my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe anyway. Oh wait, hold on. Is that the code? Up, left, down, right, up. Oh wait, hold on. No, I'm supposed to... Am I seeing the code? Codes? Oh yeah, you are! Left up, left down right. Left up, left. Down. Right. Done. I should check the door nearby. Oh! Alright. Well, that's gonna be it for today's episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. Unless I happen to be like right at the end, then I'll splice the episodes together, but whatever. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, or in a few seconds. Either way, until then, later.